What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, I am going to be doing a gameplay with the Pink Diamond Joel Embiid. So first of all, big shout out to Alan Bailey or Stunna4 on Twitch and Mixer. I will leave a link to both of them in the description for letting me use his account for this gameplay because if it wasn't for him, there's Joel Embiid is like 2 million on PC and I don't, I'm not willing to spend that much on him to be completely honest. And yes, CJ McCollum as well, so I might get a gameplay with him. But um, yeah, so Joel Embiid should be one of the best centers in the game. 99 offense and defense overall. Comes with 11 Hall of Fame badges, brick wall bruiser, chase and artist, rim protector, defense, stopper, hustle rebounder, post spin ignition, putback king, pick and popper, posterizer, catch and shoot, as well as 16 gold badges. I'm pretty sure he put a couple of them on him. I'm not entirely sure which ones. But stats wise, Joel Embiid has got unbelievable post hook and fadeaway, both of 96. Standing layup of 97. He's got an open shot mid of 92. Open shot three of 87, which is really, really good. He's also got a 95 free throw, 85 driving dunk. He's got 55 ball control, which isn't great. Not great passing stats, but he's got a 97 block, 96 shot contest. He's got really good rebounding stats. He's got great speed, speed of ball, and acceleration for a center. Speed and acceleration are good, and 65 speed of ball is not bad at all for center. He's also got 74 lateral quickness, which is not terrible. Good on ball defensive IQ and great low post defensive IQ. So this Joe and Embiid card should be incredible. This is the team we're running with. The one we've got Grant Hill, the two we have got Michael Jordan, the three we've got Paul George, the four Antoine James sent the five Joe Allen Embiid. Off the bench we are running Tracy McGrady at the one, Kevin Durant to two, Giannis the three, Blake Griffin at the four, and Chris Stapps at the five. With Cam Malone as one of our last guys rounding up the bench, and I'm going to just throw in another. And LeBron, I'm just going to throw another center, just to throw a big body in there. Put in Nikola Jokic. So yeah, this should be quite a fun game to you or a fun team to use. And I've a feeling Joe Allen Bede is going to be one of the top three or four centers in my team. If you guys want to see a CJ McCollum gameplay, um, leave a like. I will try get one out. If this video, actually no, just let me know. I'm not gonna set a like. Oh, if you guys want to see that gameplay, let me know in the comments. And who knows, I may end up getting four, potentially five videos out today which would be absolutely nuts, but it's a possibility. But anyway, yep, now let's go on to the hot zones with Joel Embiid, then we're gonna get on to the game. So Joel Embiid actually has hot zones everywhere except for one spot inside the three, and he's got three of the five outside the three as hot zones. As far as centers go, Embiid's release is definitely one of the better ones. I'm not gonna say it's the best release in the game or anything, but it's definitely one of the better ones. I think I need to fix the camera a little bit. Yeah, I play on zoom three, high 10 for everyone that's asking. That's the camera I prefer to play on. I prefer kind of it zoomed out a lot. And to be honest, I'd probably play even better if it was zoomed out even further. I think having it more zoomed out helps. But yeah, Embiid, his release for center when he's wide open is cash. Obviously the post game is gonna be really nice. His hook's nice. And also Joel Embiid's fadeaway gets a lot of separation. So he should be able to dominate in the post as well. Going to the basket, he should just be able to dunk on everybody. A seven foot tall center. And while I do think for my personal play style, I'd probably have Jokic as the best center. There's no reason why this can't, well, this card shouldn't be one of like the three or four best centers in the game for anybody. There's no reason why anyone shouldn't be able to use this card. He's a great post player, got great rebounding stats, can shoot the mid, can shoot the threes, can run, can block shots. There is nothing that this MB can't do. So yeah, this card should be very, very fun. So that was a bad release. And now it's just green one three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against Iverson, Harden, Josh Smith, Blake, and JaVale. Not a bad squad, but we should be fine. We should be fine. This guy is literally just running up to me and spamming square. There he goes. First time I've been able to get any sort of separation, pick and pop. And Embiid knocks down to three. Okay, he's got the cheesy big man crossover. The like Giannis Antetokounmpo and Thon Maker crossover. Just obviously doesn't have as high ball control speed with ball to abuse it that much. Next in the first free throw, and Embiid, two for two. That's open for three, really? It's wide open three, missed for Jordan, and Embiid in two, two consecutive plays. Embiid's coming through, seeing Jared fell at least. Nope, but he managed to green that. That was a tough, tough layup. Stack, they left him open again for the long two, and B can't hit it. Step back, okay, that was not great there. Okay, but he burns him straight to the basket and Embiid with the dunk. Three ball. KD knocks it down. There we go. KD knocks it down. 
All right, so we've actually have not had the best first quarter here. Embiid's done well. The rest of our team's kind of struggled. No, not cold. Not cold and moving. KD. Oh my God, Chris Taps. That's such a bad pass. Why did I leave him open? Oh my God, we're just. I don't know what it is. I'm just not playing well right now. That's a tough shot by Embiid, and it's off. And there's no excuses. There's absolutely no excuse for what's going on right here. But look, you're not going to play well every single game you play in 2K. Big thing, just like in real life, just like in anything, finding a way of winning while not playing well is as big as being very good at the game, to be completely honest. So right now, down one. Look, plenty, plenty of time. I'm not going to continue to shoot this badly. The basket and bead makes the layup. There we go. Leads right back. Okay, we got him. He left him open for three. And B can't hit it again. Stop. Open again for three. Knocks it down this time. Oh, that's a long two. Down. Stop. From deep. Joel Embiid. Can't hit a three again. Come on. Now he's a goal limitless as well. These shots can't keep being missed. Wide open. It's probably a two. You're kidding me, right? Just get off the court. Maybe putting him on the bench will help when he comes back in the second half. Great pass, Jokic into the corner, and doesn't matter. Full white with Hall of Fame Dimer. Can't hit it. Doesn't matter, he's got a 99 shot three with the coach. Nothing matters, because this game, I'm just bound to lose this game, am not I? Free ball. Jokic can't hit a full white as well. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, we're down six points, but we should eat. Like, with the amount of shots we missed, we should be way ahead. Stop. Then I have to open. That's three, and it's off. KD in the corner for three. Finally. Embiid for two, full white. Knocks it down. Let that be the start of a good half. Let's see. I've been struggling a bit on defense recently, so let's see what the zone can do against him. And Embiid with another block. See, there's third or fourth one in a game. Oh, that's a bad turnover. We got the switch we wanted. We got Penny trying to guard Embiid, and they come right down with Shaq. Good defense. Embiid puts it in. Gets it. Open for three. Joel Embiid. What do I expect? What can I expect? Of course he's going to miss that shot. Joel Embiid again. He's got goal, or goal limitless. Finally. Finally hits another one. Into him. No, not off his back. Okay, Paul George. Okay, one of our players got it anyway. Three ball again, Embiid. Come on! Come on, you've got an 87 rating. These are all wide open. Okay, get a dunk. There we go. Embiid has blocked a lot of shots and played some solid defense in this game. Long two, knocks it down. He has just been so inconsistent with that jump shot. Steal. And Durant pulls up on the break. Green light. Okay, they left him from Limitless. Crazy McGrady. Oh, come on. Great board by Nikola Jokic. Thought he was going to jump there. But it doesn't matter. Jokic step through, steps through and get the layup. gets the layup. Struggling to speak now. Struggling to speak just as much as I'm struggling to play 2K today. I was awful in that Bill Russell gameplay earlier. And I've been awful so far in this one. But, sure, look. If I get the win, that's all that matters. Okay, got him. Step back. Three-pointer. Bad release. Come on. That's actually a shot that Jokic can hit. Oh, my God. I just blew a standing dunk with a guy with a 99 standing dunk. Steal. Jokic. Stop. Three. Durant knocks it down. Hit range. Green light. Fade away. Embiid. Knocks it down. That's a great shot there. Be honest, we haven't gotten into the post game enough. Let's cross him up. Embiid burns by him to the basket. And gets stopped by Big Country. All right. We should have this game won anyway. That is a very risky pass. But Embiid's right there and he blows the layup. And he commits a flag. No. No, no. We're down six with a minute to go and he commits a flag and fell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, we just gave an M1. Please, no. Not di Pink Diamond Shack, fair enough. Not Diamond Shack in three in a row. Okay. Now we need a big fourth quarter out of Joel Embiid. This is a huge shot right here. Green! There we go. I don't know what he was doing with the inbound there. But Embiid gets a steal. Embiid is semi-open for three. And he knocked down another one. May not have done much all game, but he's been clutch. Embiid hits MJ for three. And Jordan knocks it down. Big assist there for Joel. We win that game somehow by double digits in the end. Embiid taking over the game at the end of it, but this struggle for a bit, to be fair. So in the end, Joel, M Joel Embiid shot less than 50% of the field, four turnovers, but did have four blocks, four of nine from three, and two of them were massive at the end of that game. So uh, yeah, not the best showing in the world, but to be completely honest, he did come up with two threes in the fourth quarter, 10 points. So anyway, that's the video. Joel Embiid's a beast. Do I think he's the best center in my team? I, as much as that game didn't show it and he missed some shots, I'm gonna say probably. Because he's a different type of center to a Nikola Jokic, but he's long, he's one of the best shot blockers in the game. He's like a much better version of Mo Bamba. Jokic is like, he's good and all, he's a Hall of Fame dimer and would be my preference. But for the vast majority of people, like, I know Ewing's released a little bit slow. That's really his only downside. Shaq can't shoot. Will can't shoot. Um, to be completely honest, Joel Embiid can do absolutely everything in-game. There is nothing that he can't do. However, I just didn't have a good game with him there. He is basically Mo Bamba. He's a similar jump shot to Mo Bamba. He's a stronger Mo Bamba with better Hall of Fame badges, much better post-game, and can defend better, not just block shots. So... Yeah, he is basically the expensive Mo Bamba. But I really like the card. Didn't shoot well with it in that game, but hey, you can't make every shot. You can't play well in every game you play. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.